Hi there, Libra. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with Libra placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Libra doesn't fit for your situation, guys. 202 on the clock, Libra. You guys will be seeing those synchronicities. Um, thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you guys a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Libra, what's going on with y'all, man? Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Libra and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping uh, messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Libra collective and protect me as I channel the messages for Libra. I saw the matrix and I saw like an open gate that looked like a portal there. So some of you guys are walking completely out of the matrix. You have ascended to a 5D consciousness, like a high, high, high 5D consciousness, like your earth star chakra and your soul star chakra is really lit up right now. Okay. Your earth star is under your feet. Okay. Below your feet and your soul star is above your crown. Okay. So something, your, your chakras are lit the fuck up here. So you did something, you defeated something, you you pushed through something. Okay, these are cards that are that look that way. I was trying to see what was in reverse, but they're not technically in reverse. Okay. My son is in the background playing. So he's pretty loud. Sorry guys. <laughs> I can't get him, you know, tell him to get off the game. So let's see. What's going on here for my Libra collective? I just put that game in his room, child. <laughs> Why I just blow this card? So, anyways, maybe because I'm used to blowing my decks. But, anyways, fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag. So, what's going on with the fire sign spirit? Work, okay. Income, career, position, rat race. So, this could be somebody that's in competition with you at work here. A fire sign. What's, what else for this fire sign with work? Or you could be getting geared up and fired up to do something when it comes down to your work. Maybe there's a need for you to have confidence here about what you're doing for work or what it is that you're trying to create for your for work. Okay, we have intoxicating in the reverse. Seduction. Can't take my eyes off of you. You're the only one I see in a room. So somebody at your job could be upset that all eyes are on you and not on them is what I'm getting. Like people don't find this person to be amusing or, or I don't know. Somebody here is in competition with your ass, Libra. Child. Well, let's see what else. What else for Libra? They're mad because they're not getting the attention that you're getting or, okay, we got time traveler just came out for Pisces. Individual has moved between points in space and time. Yeah, I feel like. Somebody could be trying to actual travel. Somebody could be a traveler. This came out, yeah, for Pisces. Yeah, spiritual thief. Exactly. What else, man? <laughs> what else? Somebody could be actual traveling or trying to, like, tap into something or no damn business. Um, but I feel like you have the key to the past, the present, and the future. So you could have a lot of spiritual knowledge or you could do something here. Whatever, whatever you do, you have a lot of knowledge. And somebody here wants the knowledge that you have. Okay. Okay, we got PTSD. Still recovering from a very traumatic experience, a traumatic event or experience. So we have playful here. It says, have a good time, let loose, play like a kid. So some of you guys need to um, embrace your inner child right now. Some of y'all need to get outside. Yeah, the underdog is always winning in the end. <laughs> 424 on the clock, on the timer. It says, underdog, you are at are at an advantage because they don't expect you to win and cry laughing piss your pants laughing laughing near tears understand each other's humor yeah so you're laughing here on your way to the fucking bank or on your way to whatever you're doing where you're leveling up child the underdog here could not be defeated they never are so okay cool let's see libra mm. what, what this is so i feel like you can loosen up here libra you know play around have fun 
Yeah, you've gotten some sort of victory in something, I feel like. You could still be recovering from something here that was traumatic. So you could have a bit of PTSD that's left over. So that's why Spirit is saying, just take your time, show yourself grace, compassion, and just move forward um, slowly. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush your healing process or whatever this is. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Okay. So let's see. What's this fire sign bitch doing? What's this? The sun and the lovers. Gemini energy, Leo. So you could actually be in a connection here that's making you happy, Libra. I feel like there's some sort of balance here that's coming in. This could be with the masculine energy. This could be like a kindred spirit, a soulmate, or this could be like some sort of divine counterpart or something like that. Things are being exposed or there's some sort of success here in a union. You and somebody have successfully completed a task. You and this person could like actually work together. Y'all could do work together, maybe spiritually. Okay. Yeah, the will of fortune. Yeah, and the nine of wands. Yeah, spiritual. You know, I'm getting spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare here. Okay, this could be going on now. All right, so there's something that's balanced out. Some of you guys could be getting ready to get pregnant, okay? Some of you guys also have a, have an idea here about work or something like that. You could be trying to make a decision or make a choice about your path, your path here. So, I don't know, I feel like you and somebody could be coming together or something is at, at a much higher frequency than what it was before. Okay, what's the sun? Yeah, the okay, yeah, the ace of wands and the sun. I mean, the ace of wands and the king of cups, so Scorpio energy. They got fire in their chart too. I feel like maybe there could be a fire sign that you have learned a lesson from, um, Libra. With intoxicating, I'm getting like a codependent energy from this. So I feel like the lesson could have been to not be codependent. The lesson could be could have been to heal something on with your emotional intelligence. Okay. Uh, with your emotional maturity, I meant. Because there could have been some emotional immaturity here. But I feel like that's what's healed. You and somebody has healed this together or something like that. So the Ace of Wands with the King of Cups. So this could be like a new person. There could be like a new beginning or something is renewed or there's just this spark or this chemistry. Some of y'all could be ending up pregnant. Ace of Wands, King of Cups, and the Sun and the Lovers. Okay, yeah. So congrats. Or it's coming. I don't know. I feel like you have a choice to make. I feel like you're going to go with somebody here that's emotionally mature and for you, okay? The Ace of Wands talks about accepting a challenge. It could talk about um, a creative spark, a new creative endeavor. Some of you guys could be artists. And um, you could be getting ready to tap into a talent that you have. Yeah, yeah, the Magician, the Hit of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, somebody's a master manifester here, just period. I feel like you're very skilled at manifesting, or you could be very skilled at, like, magic or something. Or somebody's doing magic. <laughs> okay, let, let's just see. What's this King of Cups? I feel like you found true love here, Libra. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, this is, like, the right decision or the right choice. I feel like you're coming into some sort of success and victory, there's something here that um, you have clarity about or you will be gaining some sort of clarity about. Okay, because this Ace of Swords talks about like a breakthrough. Um, your intuition could be very strong at this time too. Brainstorming, focusing, concentrating on something. This could be your spirit guide helping, to you, helping you to, um, yeah... 
The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Hmm. This could be your spirit team helping you to helping you to move through something right now, whatever this is. This could be somebody new though that you're meeting or you have met already. They could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Or they got these these signs in their chart. This could be somebody that you're actually working with. Somebody here, it just feels like they're right for you. Like that's your match. That's the one you want to be with and you're sure about it type thing. Okay. Because I feel like it's not codependent. I feel like you and this person actually work very well together. Or you could be getting ready to start a project with someone or something like that. What's the lovers? I feel like maybe you, you might have a choice to make between two. One person brings you. They they don't confuse you. The other is maybe just like sexual or something. What's this Ace of Wands? Let me see. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Two of Wands. Yeah, a choice or what's the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands? Or this is like planning for the future. Okay, yeah, the Page of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> I feel like you let me see give me more on this ace of wands real quick I mean the ace of pentacles I mean the ace of swords okay give me the ace of swords real quick yeah the seven of pentacles give me the ace of swords seven of pentacles the nine of swords. Somebody could be nervous too about some sort of truth coming out or whatever the case. Um, someone could have a Gemini Mars. We got Taurus Saturn. Somebody nervous about some sort of truth or somebody getting some sort of clarity about something. I feel like you've gotten some sort of victory. You could be in invested into something here and this is the right choice for you to make or you're going to receive clarity about if it's the right investment. If something, I feel like something here could be growing or being nurtured for you or you're getting some sort of inheritance or this is wealth or something like that. You could be trying to make money in a way, but I feel like you're going to gain clarity about if you made the right decision or not, or if you should, you know what I'm saying, what you should actually do. I feel like this eclipse and this damn retrograde, it's going to help you for sure tell you what to do. It's going to, it's going to tell you what the fuck you need to be doing. That's just period. <laughs> like it's, it's going to tell you what the hell you need to need to do. The nine of swords talks about fear, doubt, worry, stress, kind of. Somebody is seeing that you're moving forward and you got clarity about what you want to do. So they're scared. They're scared about something. I feel like it's about some sort of truth or something. Um, or somebody is now evaluating something too late. Okay. They're evaluating something too late or looking into something too late. Or now they, somebody's like looking back or questioning something. Somebody feel like they made the wrong choice and something. Mm, yeah. Mm. And I feel like you're already happy, joyful, optimistic, or whatever this is. So it's like you're already in a good headspace. You're already where the fuck you want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all too are keep you keep thinking about an idea. You need to just put it out there. Whatever this idea is. But I may, you know, when you're ready. But some of y'all are ready, but you don't feel like you are. And so you gotta figure out which one is what, I guess, right? But the page of cups in the reverse is um someone having a lot of inner child healing to do this too somebody here could be like obsessed or somebody's getting like bad news someone is like very jealous about something what's the page of cups in the reverse somebody's like jealous or obsessed with how they look somebody's like obsessed with their image the nine of wands yeah, so something here is an ongoing battle. Something has been an ongoing battle. Sagittarius moon because of somebody's jealousy or envy towards another person. So the two of wands, I feel like somebody's trying to decide if they should stay or if they should go or 
this could be somebody making a decision to kind of like move forward. The two of two of wands though could talk about anticipating or waiting for something. I feel like some of y'all, this could be going on at your job too. Somebody's like obsessed with their image or some shit. So they're trying to save their reputation or something. But I feel like they're ruining their own shit by their nasty ass behavior or some shit like that. I don't know. But let me see. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all are stressing about a decision that you're going to have to make or it's coming up. And this could have something to do with like work too, though. Like <clears throat> a relationship that you're tied to could have something to do with work as well. You know what I'm saying? Like this has a lot. I feel like this is a big decision because it has a lot to do with your life purpose is basically what I'm saying. Okay. I feel like somebody chose like sex or getting with somebody else over like what they felt was was the right thing to do. And I feel like you moved on or some shit like that. Somebody here too also is like very promiscuous. Somebody here is having sex with a lot of people or something like that. Child. I feel like someone too refused to like hear their inner child. Somebody could have been abused as a child, trigger warning, and they just decided to not heal. So they went somewhere else and you went your, your separate way. Okay. You could have been waiting on this person, but I feel like you got clarity and you move forward because, and now you're somewhere else in life. So what, what's the, the lovers? Okay, yeah, the world. Yeah, something is huge. Like, what's the lovers here with the world? Taurus, I mean, yeah, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. What's the lovers with the world? Some of you guys could have, meet, could have met someone online or you could be meeting somebody online. Yeah, some of y'all are trying to make a decision here about a job offer or um two people. Something here is now balanced out. I'm sorry about my son. He just be making crazy ass noise all the time. Capricorn Jupiter. All the air. Cut it out. Girl, I can't focus. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, you can do whatever you want, but all that crazy noise, no, not right now. Not right now. So, so yeah, something that I feel like there's a new cycle or there's like a completion here. There's a cycle that's been completed. Something is closing out and there could potentially be like a union or a coming together of sorts. This could be like two souls, maybe two souls uniting or this is like two twin, like twins or something. <laughs> my son is just he is funny but yeah so something is bouncing out though uh libra whatever this is you completed something you completed a mission or something child you did something what's this time traveler okay i feel like yeah the the fool what's the time traveler with the fool could be done with an aquarius Okay, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. You guys should be seeing Four, Four, Four. Gemini, Jupiter. So, there's somebody that's broken free of something here with the Fool. Somebody's getting ready to take some sort of leap of faith or do something here uh, the eight of swords talks about feeling stuck or trapped or silenced okay what's this eight of swords somebody here is, is scared about something what's the eight of swords somebody is stuck somewhere and pisces reading i got someone got stuck in a damn portal they shouldn't be trying to do actual travel on somebody or whatever what's the eight of swords somebody here could be breaking free or getting out of like jail Okay, or something. What's the Eight of Swords? Or somebody. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Somebody is scared that they're going to get rejected. I feel like they are. Somebody is broken free already. What's the Eight of Swords with the Four of Cups? Okay. Yeah, the Ten Percent in Reverse, Sagittarius. Somebody's protection or that that healing energy that they had. 
or that they were leeching off of is now gone. That person or that thing or whatever they was doing to survive is gone now. Now they ass is stuck. Somebody's like stuck here. The ten percent in reverse could be talking about discord, disharmony, a lack of peace. There's definitely an imbalance here. I feel like somebody too is being antagonist, or that's what they were doing. So somebody's getting rejected, and I feel like their somebody's mental health or their mental illness is getting ready to be shown to the world here. Like dead ass. Cancer Moon here. I don't know if I said it, but Gemini Jupiter. Yeah, something on someone's bloodline is going through a change or something in someone's family. Somebody in somebody's family could have passed away or could be passing away. But I feel like this is more so a death and a rebirth here where there was something from your past life, Libra, that is clearing out. It's karma from your past life that's clearing out, out of your lineage or in order for you to build this legacy or build generational wealth or something. <clears throat> somebody here did something in haste and they got their ass fucked up like i don't know what they did what's the fool <laughs> what's the fool <laughs> the king of swords a strong aquarius could be libra i said limini <laughs> libra gemini but i feel like this is an aquarius what's the fool with the king of swords yeah, somebody here, yeah, this bitch here. Yeah, somebody here has detached from this Queen of Wands in the reverse. This whole just keep on coming out. It could be an Aries, okay, or it could be a Sagittarius or Leo. But I feel like, um, I, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm getting some too. There's a connection here that's like really friendly. This King of Swords right here could be just like a friend to you. They could still be struggling with PTSD from dealing with this person, this Queen of Swords. So this could be like two counterparts that are have completed a mission or completed something by breaking free of the karmic attachments. You taught this person, they taught you, and now there's a union, which is good. You completed a, a mission here. Okay. But let, let me see. So the Queen of Wands in the reverse is like jealous. This is like envy, bullying. Somebody's a loser. They're a fucking loser, a whore, too, at that. What's the... So this person could be going to jail. This could be like a lawyer, a judge, or whatever. Or this is this person that's setting clear boundaries, raising a standard, saying no, setting... You know, yeah, setting boundaries. What's this Queen of Wands in the reverse, man? Somebody here is just a jealous-ass loser. What's Queen of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, four of wands. So this could be somebody in your community or somebody in their community... Somebody that they got a family with or somebody in someone's family. Someone could have an Aries Venus here. What's Queen of Wands in reverse? Four of Wands. So yeah, this is, yeah, this is like two people that have defeated a narcissist, okay? Because that's how I see the Queen of Wands. What's this? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Wands in the reverse? Four of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Swords. So somebody here, you know what I'm getting? Somebody here is trying to keep an eye on the Twin Flame Union. Yeah, the Magician, the Moon. Somebody's doing moon magic with a group of people. So this bitch is in some sort of community. Okay, or this is a person in this person's family. Okay. Someone is jealous of a union. They're jealous or they're competing with you. You could be on a stage here, uh, Libra. You could do something on stage or you share like knowledge about something with the Page of Swords. People watch you. Or this person here is watching you and getting information. I don't know. But the Page of Swords is someone here. This is like petty ass gossip to within a community. Or somebody here gossip to your twin flame about some shit. Yeah, somebody's like watching someone. What's the, what's the King of Swords? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So this King of Swords could be getting ready to take a leap of faith to come bring you some sort of truth or clarity or they've gotten some sort of truth or clarity. So someone is like, I feel like when some sort of opportunity presents itself, somebody's going to take action to like do something or take a risk to do something or to free themselves from something here. 
yeah the knight of swords is like big changes that could be occurring or seizing an opportunity somebody here being a leader taking action staying focused being determined somebody that has willpower and determination to do something to maybe communicate because the king of swords is communicative so maybe somebody could be going to a lawyer or a judge or this could be their ass calling judgment on something i don't know but whatever this is somebody doing is, is helping them to break free or something just period Somebody is now speaking up or, or speaking up about some sort of injustice, possibly. Yeah, we got the page to the knight of swords to the king of swords. Somebody here has grown a lot. Give me a second. Sorry. Now, <laughs> my son, all this daggone noise, child. That's why I like doing my readings when ain't nobody here. But, you know, that just is not possible. So the devil. Okay, yeah, the devil and the hierophant and the damn ten of pentacles. This is somebody that's toxic in someone's family. But I'm really getting a very strong. There's a high priest here. Somebody was a high priest in a past life. Okay, and in this lifetime, they were meant to break the generational curse here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's family is in into a cult, or somebody married into a cult. They got a family that's in something like that. And their purpose is to break free and find out who they are. Yeah, so somebody here has done that. Yeah, they worked on themselves or something, 888 here. You guys should be seeing 888 or something like that. So this is huge. That's why with the world and the lovers, yeah, I was getting strong, like. Mm -hmm. What's the PTSD? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody been stabbed in the back, just period. A lot, okay? Gemini energy. I feel like, too, this is like spiritual narcissism. Somebody has done magic on somebody, cursed, hexed somebody to death. Damn near, Okay. There's like betrayals, gossip, stabbing in the back here, whatever. Somebody here could have even passed away due to a murder. My condolences. Okay, that could be a traumatic experience too. What's the PTSD with the Ten of Swords? Okay, yeah, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody has betrayed the fuck out of somebody. Somebody from someone past or somebody that someone got kids with here. Okay, someone could have an Aquarius moon. Somebody keeps on trying to curse and hex somebody to bring up like past situations that are hurtful to make somebody here keep going backwards and stop them from doing their healing work here. Somebody's just a loser, like just period. What's this damn Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. So there was a lot of setbacks and delays here. Yeah. Somebody here got on the wrong path or the wrong track because of a betrayal or like somebody here doing some shit they wasn't supposed to do to another fucking person. Okay, just period. But there's, this is like opposing forces. Somebody has done a lot of magic here is what I'm getting. This Queen of Wands ass bitch. Somebody's gossip or slander really t took something off track, man. Okay, this is like setbacks, delays, unwanted changes. What's this damn Ten of Swords with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands is like protecting your territory. Um, somebody here trying to challenge someone. So you could you could feel defensive or guarded or whatever the fuck this is. Somebody getting ready to get some bad karma. <laughs> That's just period. <clears throat> You guys will be seeing 777. What's this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? 
Somebody here, somebody here successfully blocked something out from happening. That was a betrayal. What, what is this? Will of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. For money. This is like, what's the Will of Fortune in reverse? Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, the Two of Swords. Somebody was trying to stop someone from a new beginning. Okay, like with the Two of Swords, Libra Moon. So someone here caused a stalemate. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, somebody here kind of like, somebody was really closed off, okay? They weren't really open to love or, yeah. there's a very few cups here. We got the queen of cups over there. I mean, king of cups. So I feel like that's that's somebody here that you could be potentially, potentially happy with, with the sun and the king of cups. This is somebody here that loves you here. And I'm not saying this person don't, but they are they're cold hearted. They're closed off from all this damn PTSD or something. So, <clears throat> got the page of cups, but that's in the reverse. That's hatred, envy. Somebody here that's obsessed with how they look or, I don't know, maybe that was they ass in the past. I don't know. But the two of swords is like uh, being at a stalemate or not making like a decision, being stuck in between like two two choices or two people. So, somebody, I feel like somebody just chose money. Okay, somebody chose money over love or they and that threw something off here. Offer was was given to someone here. Either you take this offer and close money was given to somebody, and somebody saw this as a golden opportunity. Okay. And somebody kept their heart closed. Somebody chose the wrong path. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's in someone's family did something crazy. Okay. Somebody is stuck in trap right now currently, though, because they keep trying to tap into some shit. They ain't got no business. Just period. Somebody work with other people, too, to hold someone back or keep their ass stuck. All right, but I feel like there's something that's protected right now for you, Libra. Okay, because there's like opposing forces trying to ruin some shit. And I feel like um, somebody here sacrificed somebody. What's the seven of wands for money? What's the seven of wands, ten of pentacles? Somebody knows that someone has a royal bloodline or they're meant for something. They, 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 they were meant for something, but I feel like somebody here. What's the seven of wands? Two, three, four, and o'clock. Yeah, dark high priestess. There was a dark high priestess literally in someone's bloodline or, or in their family, mother, brother, sister, ex, whoever the fuck this is. Okay, so this is this dark high priestess here intentionally blocked out a ten of pentacles or, or somebody from receiving this ten of pentacles. Okay, you guys will be saying ten, ten. So something is over. Pisces energy, the high priestess in the reverse is someone that has outbursts. I feel like this is obviously somebody that does dark work here. Um, <laughs> somebody here's intuition is blocked or it was blocked. This is unwanted attention to a lot of unwanted attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the star, the queen of cups, the knight of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is you. You've moved on. You have a match here. This king of cups. This king of cups is who you're moving forward towards or something like that. Mm. What the hell is this seven of swords here? Somebody could have slept with someone's family members because somebody here, they sexually, they get around sexually. Somebody here sleeping with someone's family members in a whole nine yards, child. What's the damn seven of swords right here? Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, somebody here was doing that. They were orchestrating shit behind the scenes to hurt somebody. Or they was moving like how they was moving because they was hurt or something. What's the seven of swords, three of swords? Or this was somebody doing right fucking now, man. But I'm getting a lot of past energy. 
Okay, Knight of Wands. Yeah. Sagittarius. Libra Saturn. Somebody's ex here did this to them. Okay. Somebody, I feel like somebody was in player energy. They were in and out, very cold. Okay. But I feel like there's somebody here that's like cheating or they, I don't know. I feel like now what's happening currently though is somebody is breaking free from this mess and they're moving forward. Now, whatever somebody did is getting ready to go back on their clown ass. Yeah, this King of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody is coming out successful here, victorious now. It's this man or something like that or something like that is happening. Somebody here did whatever they needed to do to hurt somebody. Somebody's just a loser. And this person here that did this damn Queen of Wands, bitch. I'm so sick of seeing this stupid hoe come out every single day or all the time. It's, I can't wait till they get wiped the fuck out. <laughs> like, get the fuck on somewhere. Move the fuck on. I mean what I'm saying. I'm not taking it back. Oh, that's me. No, the fuck is not. It's real. This bitch didn't sit up here and cause too many problems. It's time for her ass to get wiped clean the fuck out. Well, we ain't got to see her ass pop up again, bitch. <laughs> okay? Like, I'm serious. That's it. Somebody here tripping. So somebody here got mad that someone, somebody here got mad that someone here broke free or left their ass behind. And so they, they did shit behind somebody back. Lied and talked shit and did all this stupid ass shit to, to throw off somebody's destiny or fortune or stop them from going forward to what they want to do. So they got a high priestess in their family or they linked up with, with somebody dark here to do something nasty to somebody. Bitch, what's playful? Yeah, the six, is, I mean, the four of swords, Libra, Jupiter. What's playful here with the four of swords? Yeah, and the king of wands. So somebody here is trying to, yeah, this king of wands here with this damn queen of wands in the reverse. So this king of wands is probably the one that tried to get away or they left. And I feel like they were meant for something more than what the fuck this bitch had to offer, which is a bunch of fucking nothing. And so I feel like this person has found out how to get away from somebody and now they could be standing in a power being confident or something like that but this four of swords is definitely like spiritual counseling too and healing peace finally finding solitude here okay so this person could be healing right now or they're resting they're recouping regrouping type energy or somebody here stressed out about some shit let's see What's the four of swords? Oh. What's the four of swords there? Yeah, the six of cups. So inner child healing. Yeah, what's the four of swords, six of cups? Or somebody's like planning for their future currently. Or somebody's thinking about someone from their past. What's the four of swords, six of cups? Okay, yeah, the, the king of pentacles. Somebody could just be focused on their money and providing for their children at this time, too. But I feel like, let me see. What's this? Who this King of Pentacles? The Seven of Cups. Who this King of Pentacles? Seven of Cups. <laughs> Child. Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's a gold digger. They're using as whore, okay? Somebody here is a prostitute too. They get around. Somebody is very sexual. They're a cheater. So this is this is the story of this person and you got something to do with this person. But it's a lot of them, their energy coming out in this reading and their situation, but you have something to do with it, okay? So there's a gold digger here. Somebody's ex, their baby mama or their fucking baby daddy, whatever the fuck this is. Somebody here is using someone for money. This person could currently be married to somebody right now, and this is their baby daddy. Because I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is a feminine energy that is a gold digger. They're a scam artist. Somebody here is is literally, they walk, they run around here and marry men for, to be taken care of. Okay. And this person could have a child with this actual, their ex. Their person that's running around, lying, cheating, or whatever the fuck this is that they're doing. Somebody's very codependent on someone for money or trying to use kids as a pawn and shit like that. 
Some of them have a Virgo Venus, Scorpio Venus. Yeah, I feel like th there's a good man here. There's two good men. But I feel like this bitch over here is the one that did all the shit to her fucking self. Yeah, the death card, the devil, and the five of swords, and the moon. Somebody here is a greedy ass hoe. And they ass getting exposed. What's the six of cups? Yeah, the knight of cups here. What's six of cups, knight of cups? Five of pentacles. <laughs> Yeah, you and this person, you could have dated this person in the past, but y'all were just friends or you're just friends now. Like something feels very playful, but I feel like it did have a romantic undertone to it. It did have an undertone to it, but they, I feel like they left you out in the cold for somebody from their past because they were asleep. And the whole time somebody here left you for somebody from their past, they are married to somebody else. They're with somebody else this whole time. Lying, scheming, using them for money, but trying to keep somebody held back because they're still obsessed with that fucking person. Okay, this could be somebody that was just trying to use this person for sex and use the other person for money. Same shit I got for Aquarius. Same shit I got for Aquarius and it came out a little bit in uh, Capricorn. So somebody could be on the cusp. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody's inner child was not fully healed. So they, they were easily tricked or guided to go back to the past because they were asleep. Oh, this is what's going on right now. What's the King of Wands? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so this person is doing the inner work. Whoever this King of Wands is, they can have Virgo somewhere in their chart, Leo, Aquarius, but they, they, they're doing the inner work, though. The King of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles is focusing on your finances, progressing, okay, moving forward, working hard on something. This is like them mastering something internally, though. I feel like major. Okay, what's the King of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Emperor. Somebody here is really focused on their work too. Focused on like a business or... Yeah, somebody's going through like an awakening. This could be like a heart chakra awakening. Getting closer to the divine. Somebody's crown chakra too is lit up here. Somebody's crown chakra, their third eye could be opening up. Yeah, that's major. That's, that's big. So... Somebody here could want forgiveness. Some, this could be somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness. Because this is a divine masculine in the in the, in the the making. Or they already are, but they, they had to go through shit. I mean, as a divine feminine, we go through shit too, child. We ain't always been a divine feminine, but I can guarantee you, I ain't been running around like these karmic codes that's coming up in this reading. <laughs> I don't know what kind of karmic bitches these are, but these ain't us or me anyway. I don't know. But I feel like somebody from your past loves you here. Some of you guys, though, you're going to forgive your past but move on to, like, new love. Okay. Yeah, you're going to make a decision to move on to new love. You accepted the lesson, and it's time for you to, like, move on to something new. And I feel like it was meant to be that way. I feel like it was meant to be that way. You help somebody change their ways or help see help them see something from a different perspective. And I feel like they got the lesson, and now they're moving forward. So that's good. Somebody, you know, people don't always come around in your life for to be dating them. It's, yeah, healing and stability. Exactly. Healing and stability. Yeah, that's like the Emperor. Sarki and Ifaradada. Okay. That's like the Temperance and we got the Emperor. Somebody could be a Sag or an Aries or got that in their chart somewhere. You could be healing and you found somebody that's that's like more stable, more secure. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's get a card here for you, Libra. This person here was a catalyst for your inner growth because I feel like you found real love now. And they're getting ready to go off to find it too or something. Yeah, seduction. That's like the devil. Glamour energy. Glam. Yeah, somebody here did some sort of glamour magic, child. Uh, yeah, Arun Mila. Great diviner. Creation partnered. Sex magic. Child. Somebody here was doing hella sex magic on somebody. Yeah, it's this king of wands. It's this queen of wands right here doing this damn glamour spell. Glamour magic, sex magic. All kind of shit to keep somebody stuck.
me a card spare for Libra. <laughs> We got Oya Protection. That just came out here for Pisces. Give me another card for here. And we got Osupa Vision and Omo Oloran Sing. Some of you guys could be artists. Some of you guys could be artists. You could be mu musicians here. You could sing or rap or, I don't know, you're just very creative. Somebody here could be a Taurus. I see a bull here. Or that's, is that a ram? Aries, Taurus could be significant. Gagoro, ego death. Conjuring, legacy. Yeah, act, spirit, act. Higher perception, passion. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. What's Osupa? Okay, maybe it's not going in alphabetical order, so... So it says, here we get a long-awaited glimpse at the dark side of the moon, which is a reflection of the collective memory. Mm. Osupa is the card of dreams and illuminates the inner world of your fears, hopes, and feelings. The brain is very powerful and it cannot decipher the difference between when you imagine an event and when you experience it. The imagination is one of the powerful tools in your metaphysical toolbox and you can use it as a means of healing or of replaying old programming that keeps you stuck in a lower frequency. Your subconscious resides between your temples. They are called temples for a reason. A supa works with the heart. This is home to the seat of the soul. A supa works during the night when your dreams and visions come alive fully in the light of the moon and the darkness. It is time to turn your attention within and start to work on your dream escape. This is the card of the dreamer, the creative, the artist, the musician, and the free spirit. It is time to listen to the symbolism coming forth in your dreams and journal. When Osupa appears in your spread, it is time to ask yourself, am I ignoring my shadow self? Am I having nightmares because of unresolved issues that I keep replaying? Mm. Wow, yeah, wow, that's deep. The light and the dark here, You, this could be like a twin or something like that. You could be with them or I don't know. Somebody's doing some inner work here. They're doing some shadow work. Somebody's twin could be a musician or something like that. <clears throat> or you, you and somebody have a connection to music here. So Omo Aloran, the Omo Alorian, Aloran or whatever, stands with her guitar covering her body. The wind is carrying musical notes to activate your throat chakra through the timelines. Birds blend into the background as golden light pours from her throat. She reminds you that our ancestors deliver messages and coding into songs to free those kept under slavery, passing the ancient teachings down to those who were ripped away from their homelands. Oh, wow. The songbird encourages you to embrace your sacred vocal cords and sing out from your heart into the space before you call back, before you, before you to call back your power. The Omo Aloran appears to you when you are resisting something within yourself and hiding your true power. Use your voice like the birds and speak your truth. So you're being protected with Oya here as you go ahead and speak your truth. Okay, there's something about your throat chakra that could be significant. Maybe strong Taurus could be significant too to this spread or, or you could be dealing with one. Somebody's being called to speak their truth. Your voice is very powerful. I feel like it has a very strong significance here. It can help change people. I feel like you've changed somebody. This reading was about that, how you change somebody, child. Like dead ass. You could be in union with the masculine now that you are helping to um, step into their purpose when it comes down to their work or whatever. This masculine energy, the sun and the king of cups. Yeah, you're, somebody's like jealous of this damn union. And this could be somebody from your past that is has dealt with a king of wands that you also hope change from your past. This could be who this, this is that you have a more playful relationship with. Like, it's not romantic. Maybe I did do something, but that's not your person. <laughs> like dead ass so very nice reading libra very deep i hope it helps you okay 
So this was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.